All right, so I've been working on the push rods and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them done here. So I thought I would just show what I'm doing. Um, this is one of the push rods. And what I do is I've marked them all. Here's my little mark as far as how long it has to be. And then I have my pipe cutter here. One of the challenges was I, I need to be able to grab it, but I don't want to grab it in such a way that I mess up the rod. So when you look at this, I'm going just on the side of that, on the inside part of that. So I did them all the same. So that'll be right, right there. I'm gonna tighten that down a little bit, and then. I can, you know, get the initial, the initial line here going across. And then what I'm doing, because then you lose your grip. This thing is actually pretty slippery. So what I was doing is I take the, my vice grips here. You can see this is from the previous one. And I grab it on the outside, because this is, going to be cut off anyway. So I just kind of have this vice grip set up to barely grab this. And it, since it's chromoly, it's a really rigid. And I grab it like that. Then I can turn this. And as it gets easier, whoops. Well, that didn't work very well that time, did it? like this. This takes a little while so we go all right so we got this and you can see this is burred up and it's also like needs to be uh, dealt with here so what I've been doing is first I take this thing <laughs> take this thing and That even makes it a little bit sort of concave on that side, but that's not a big deal. And then I take this, I just try not to scratch the inside of this. Really only oil has to make it through this thing. But I just rub the file on the burr of that inside until it feels like there's no burr. And I was taking the sandpaper and just going over this. This end is just like, it's a little bit uglied up from the pipe cutter. So, you can always sand off. The, there's a little bit of a ridge that, uh, was on all of these, but try to sand this off just a little bit. All right, that's pretty pretty good. So now. I take this outside and I hammer in the little ending. So I'll show you that. So, I have one more of these little guys. And what I do is 
that's going to go in the end here, but it has to be hammered in safely so as to not ruin the uh, end there. Okay, so this is my technique here. I got this guy here, and I've been sticking that in in a bolt, the bottom, like that. And then I have this, which is a little extender for, uh, you know, my little socket wrench kit. But it's hollow on the top, so I stick that on the top. If you look very closely at the bottom there, you'll see that when I hit this with the hammer, and it's on concrete, then it bounces. So I can tell that it's done. I uh, look here. See? That is pretty much in there. Here's the end that was the good end initially. So this is good. So that means I now have all all eight of these. Check the, the height saw. You know, obviously when you're using a pipe cutter, they uh, could come out slightly different if you weren't really careful. But looking at these, that looks really pretty good. Almost identical for all eight. So, all right, that was a bunch of work. Cut your own, um, but they should all be good now.